Okay, let me tell you this. You are not going to be profitable with ICT. And you are not going to be profitable with ICT, not because the strategy is not profitable, but because the way that you are going about it is wrong. You expect things to be handed out to you. You expect to start learning ICT and become instantly profitable. And that's not going to happen. And in this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you what I would do if I were to start ICT all over again and I wanted to become profitable with ICT again. And I do think that one of the biggest mistakes that people do is that they try to implement everything. You try to come into ICT, learn one thing, then learn the other, then learn the other and be able to do everything. While the people that are being successful with ICT, what they do is that they learn one or two concepts and they master those concepts. That is the way that I personally look at ICT. I look at ICT as a book full of concepts. And the way that you master a strategy is by gathering one, two or three concepts that you personally love, master those and you are able to execute live. That's exactly what I did. And I'm going to tell you how I would do the same thing in order to become profitable in 2023 with ICT. So let me start by saying what ICT's recommended playlists are and then I will tell you which ones are mine. So ICT tells you to look at the Market Maker Primer series followed by the Pattern Recognition series, Scout Sniper series and then the 2022 mentorship. I've seen that the first three are very much based on optimal trade entry and on Fibonacci trading. I personally I've never I don't know why but I've never really Fibonacci's never really sticked with me. And so I personally, even though I watched them, I didn't implement anything that was shown there. And don't judge me. Yes, it's true. I didn't implement some of the things that ICT said. But as I told you, that is not the end goal. The end goal at the end of the day is for you to know what resonates with you and then executing on what resonates with you. instead of just having optimal trade entry, fair value gaps, order blocks, daily bias, power of three, everything on the chart. And now you're like, oh my, I don't know if the market is going long or short. So I personally didn't identify myself with optimal trade entry and Fibonacci trading. But what I resonated a lot with was the 2022 mentorship. And the 2022 mentorship is what got me profitable with ICT. Now, one of the reasons that I was profitable almost instantly with ICT is because I already had a lot of experience before in the market. I had four years of experience before I was introduced into ICT. So please keep this in mind when you are comparing your journey with my journey. It is okay if you go into a playlist, you implement something and then it's not profitable yet. You need to keep going. But if you were to ask me for a recommendation on what playlist to start, I would tell you to start with the 2022 mentorship, start implementing the daily bias and fair value gaps with the sweep of liquidity, which is basically the 2022 mentorship. But I want you to see it for yourself and I want you to try to find consistency with that. It was more than enough for me to find consistency, fair value gaps, sweeps of liquidity and understanding that the market moves from pocket of liquidity to pocket of liquidity was what got me profitable with ICT. Now there was one thing that I wasn't really expecting and that was the fact that there was something missing and I didn't even know it. And so I started looking through the core content and I wasn't really expecting much because a lot of the things were repeated. But there came a point where on Twitter I was constantly hearing about order blocks, order blocks, order blocks, order blocks. Oh my god I didn't enter because there was no order block and I'm like there is something missing and that's when I went into the core content as I said and I finally got the final touch in my strategy which was order blocks so now by implementing what I learned in the 2022 mentorship plus what I implemented from the 2016 core content not only was I able to understand the power of three which was explained, order blocks, which were explained, fair value gaps, which were explained, and the daily bias, which was also explained. So all of a sudden, everything that I personally use for my trading are those four things. Daily bias with the power of three, fair value gaps, and order blocks. So daily bias and power of three in order to find out which direction I want to enter in the market, fair value gaps and order blocks, and sweeps of liquidity in order for me to get the entries on the lower time frame. It's that 
simple. You don't see me talking about OTE, you don't see me talking about the one minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, whatever it is. You see me talking about something simple, which I have also explained already on this channel. The daily bias, trying to enter in the manipulation phase of the power of three, if you want to look up the power of three, I have a video on this channel. And then looking for a sweep of liquidity, market shift, fair value gap, order block, and I enter. That's it. And I target the next liquidity. But here you are, once again, asking yourself, does this work here? Does this work there? Does this work here, 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 here? But what about this? What about that? Listen, I'm giving you something simple. Look for that in Euro dollar, for example, if you want to trade indices, that's a whole different thing that's not with me, but I personally use this in Euro dollar and I don't know if this works in crypto, whatever, I don't care. I trade Euro dollar and some other pairs, but I want you to focus on one pair, one setup and a couple of concepts. If you are able to master a couple of concepts, you will be able to have a setup which you will then implement in one pair. This will give you mastery and this will give you consistent profitability. And so what I mean by this is that keep it simple. If you find something that all of the sudden, every time you look at the market, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee the fact that this reacted out of this fair value gap. You can't unsee that the daily bias is constantly being respected. There you go. You have something that fits you. You have something that your eyes recognize really, really easily. So I want you to go into the market, not prop firms, not live money, nothing, no. I want you to go into the market, I want you to see the market playing out, open up a demo account if needed, and then trade that. You need live market experience just like you need backtesting experience. You need both of those. So yeah, once again, instead of jumping around from concept to concept, from playlist to playlist, go for one, master that one, master an entry, and you will become profitable. If you do not do this, the beginning of this video makes sense to you. And I guess that that's how life goes. Not everyone is going to be profitable. You need to understand it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, I can give you the same amount of information that some people will still not be profitable with it. So it doesn't matter how much free education it is out there. There are still people that are saying that it's not profitable. But here are 1000 people saying that it's not true. 1000 people being profitable, passing prop firms, getting, getting payouts, actually making a living off trading that learned from ICT, yet the ones that fail are telling you that it doesn't work. So let me just put this into a final perspective, which is, let's say that you've been trading for five years and you have never been profitable. And so what you say is trading is not profitable. No one is profitable. Everyone is a scam. How many people are saying that? If you've tried so many different things with so many people being profitable with the things that you have already tried and you've never been able to be profitable, what was the common factor with all the things that you tried? It was you. So maybe what you are doing is wrong and you need to put this into your mind. If there's constantly something wrong, but people are being able to do it, the common factor is always you. You need to understand that maybe trading is not for you. Maybe you are simply doing something wrong and you can solve that thing and become profitable. Everything is in the mind. You need to take personal accountability in your trading journey and you need to understand that it's everything in your hands. So if you are not profitable, don't blame ICT, don't blame me, don't blame whatever it is. Understand that the common factor between all your unprofitable trades is you. So with this in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you were able to take value from this. Make sure to check the 2022 mentorship because that's the one that I recommend. Do all the things that I also recommended here and I'll see you next week. Bye.